Hey, what up, y'all? This is Flames Trading. Um, today, I'll be making a quick video on the best uh, dividend stocks available on Belt Simple. So, to start off, um, I know it's been a while. I've just been busy, really, in real life. So, that's been going on. Uh, I'll try to make more videos daily and just let me know what um, videos you guys want to see in the future. So, this stock is called Dividend Philippines Spec Corp. Uh, the ticker symbol is GFN. So I'll just ex explain the stock, what it does, and um, because it's a little bit different than the normal stocks we have. So it's a split corp uh, stop. I'll go in more depth later, but basically they invest in some of the highest um, dividend yielding Canadian companies, and they offer a really good dividend. So the dividend they offer is a yielding at 16.37%, which is one of the highest you can get. Um, and they also give the dividend monthly, so that's really nice. It really helps with the compounding. And area per stock, they give you a 10 cent. Um, so the way it works is um, there is some risk to this uh, stock. Um, that's if the stock has like a NAV value, NAV value. If it doesn't reach that NAV value, which is usually 15 in this case, um, then they don't give the uh, dividend. Most of the time, like in this uh, stock's history, they've only missed it like three times. And that's been because of the COVID-19, uh, that's when they missed it. Um, really high risk, high reward stock, and really nice yield. Uh, this is my personal favorite because of high high the yield is. Okay, so next stop we have is uh, called uh, ticker symbol LBS, um, Life and uh, Bank Split Corp. Another uh, Split Corp uh, stock, so it also has an app. Uh, this, uh, this stock has a little bit less of a yield at 14.53. But it's almost the same thing. It's only because the price is a bit more. But this stock is more stable. It hasn't missed a yield in a uh, dividend payment in a really long time. Even during the COVID uh, uh, drop in March, it was still giving dividends. So really good stock, really high yielding, and can uh, give a lot of return back. All right, next stock I have is uh, wheat. So wheats always have their ups and downs. Um, this is one of my favorite wheats because it gives the... Uh, dividend monthly. Um, it's yielding at 8.67, one of the higher ones as well. Um, this is also a good uh, stock if you want to get into REIT and definitely can help um, uh, balance out that portfolio. Alright, next stop I have is called CL. It's basically a call uh, ETF and it's pretty nice because of the fact that it gives a 10.6 um, ETF. So it's a good ETF for dividends, and can de and it's pretty uh, inexpensive. It's like ten dollars eighteen, so you can definitely buy it. Um, it's nice as well, and it's yearly rate as well, and it has like uh, gains over period as well. So you can definitely earn money on this stuff. So next ETF I have is another uh, covered call ETF. Um, this ETF gives a ten point seven two which is really high as well and can definitely help you make those returns. Okay, um, next we have is uh, Bell Inc. So this is uh, one of those uh, stocks. It's a bit lower than the rest I've uh, presented, but it's still very stable and this stock has been going up. Um, this stock is actually really nice. I have it in my portfolio as well. The reason being uh, once uh, COVID is done, everything is back to normal. Everybody's going to go outside and they're going to start using data and that's going to really raise this uh, stock price up. This is really honestly a really stable stock and in long term it's going to definitely go. Um, and they're giving you a good 6% return as well. Okay, next stop we have is, so this is uh, another ETF called, um, sorry, I don't think, uh, yeah, give me one second, it's called VDY. Yeah, that one is uh, in the US, that uh, other stock I have. So this VDY is a really good um, yield as well if you want to get exposed to the American markets. It's a bit lower as well on 5.19, it's still pretty good, but um, less compared to the rest. Uh, but this is a good the ETF that gets you composed to the US markets without having to buy US stocks because on well simple there is a fee. Um, so it's really nice if you want to just get exposed to the US markets. All right, last and final stock I have is Enbridge. Uh, another really good stock as well, and it's yielding a good amount as well. Um, this stock is at a 7.38 yield, 
And this is a good consistent stock which has been rising. I would say be a little bit careful with the stock because it's already above its pre-COVID um, levels. So you definitely want to be careful with that. But this is a really good uh, yielding stock and um, really good company as well. Alright guys, thank you for watching. Um, I'll be sure to make more videos in the future regarding stocks and overall thanks.